Now, if you know me, you'll know I've spent a lot of time in the 2019 C43. But here beside me, we have the whole new model. And well, they've made some pretty big changes. But are these changes for the better or worse? Let's find out. The new C43 now sits on the W206 platform, which means it's longer and wider than the previous generation. It still has the classic compact saloon shape, but now with flatter lines, updated lights, and a luxurious tech-filled interior. And I wanted to start the review right here in this interior because it is such a gorgeous place to sit. Here we've got so much carbon fiber and it looks great. The vents are super cool. I mean, it's the new C-Class. It's got all the tech as well. You've got the big screen down here, down the middle, which has some amazing features. I mean, the sat-nav is super cool. And if we look in here, there's actually a 3D render of the exact car we're in, which is such a nice touch. And of course, we've got the digital display here, which has got all the new screens. Still playing around with them. There's so much you can configure on this screen, but overall, sitting here, in these lovely seats as well with the AMG badge in. It's just such a nice place to be guys and what a comfortable cruiser. You also get the latest version of MBUX, which looks great here in the center screen. And you also get new screens for the digital dash here behind the steering wheel. Speaking of steering wheels, we now have the latest AMG wheel, which has a whole new button setup, along with updated graphics for the AMG Drive Select wheel and customizable buttons. When I first tried the new steering wheel, I really wasn't sure about these touch sensitive buttons. But after spending more time with the car, I've got used to them and they've become a little easier to use. I've got to say though, this steering wheel does feel so much different to the old one. It's got a much more meaty, thicker feel. You're either going to love it or it might take some time to get used to. One thing's for sure though, this steering wheel looks incredible. In the back here with the seat in my driving position, I've got loads of space back here. There's actually quite a nice tilt to the back of the seat. Tons of headroom, lots of leg room. Yeah, I could not complain as a passenger. The boots are great size too, measuring at 455 litres. Let's do the traditional AB Auto test and see if I can fit inside. Well, this is a bit tighter than the SUVs we did, but I'm in. Here's how it compares to the EQC and the EQA. Under the bonnet here is where things start to get really interesting. The previous generation C43 had a V6 engine that produced 390 horsepower in the facelift version. This was a tremendously fun six cylinder engine that sounded awesome when paired with the AMG Performance Exhaust. The downside to this engine is that at its core, it was a Mercedes production engine rather than a full-blown AMG developed engine. This led to many people online calling it a fake AMG or an AMG light. 
but this C43 now has an entire new engine. It's developed solely by AMG, and you even get a plaque here signed by the one man who built it. But I'm afraid there is one catch. This engine here is no longer a V6. The C43 now has the M139 engine, which is AMG's latest four-cylinder engine. Now, at first, a four-cylinder engine may sound like a huge downgrade, but the M139 engine is actually a remarkable piece of engineering. This is the same engine as the popular A45S and CLA45S, which produces 421 horsepower. It's an incredibly fun engine to drive, which loves to rev high and gives you tons of torque. In the new C43, it now produces 400 horsepower, but it also has a gas turbocharger powered by a minor hybrid system, which is designed to improve the responsiveness of the acceleration. This is technology that's taken straight from the Mercedes-Benz AMG Formula One team. Like the previous generation, the new C43 is four-wheel drive, but this time we get rear-wheel steering. Now we'll see just how better this handles round corners with this steering when we go out for our drive. Another big change on the C43 is the price. It's been many years since the original C43 was released, and since then, the car market has suffered from some serious inflation. The 2016 C43 model costs 44 to 47k based on options. Then in 2019, a facelift raised the price to 50 to 55k. And now the brand new model costs a whopping 67 to 71k. You get an option of two trim levels, premium and premium plus. The premium comes with the parking package and the 360 degree camera premium MBUX navigation, blind spot assist, memory seats, and driver's display. You also get keyless go. This is where the car detects the key in your pocket and the door will unlock as soon as you touch the handle. Then we've got ambient lighting, which is stunning in all the new Mercedes-Benz models. Some people think it might be a bit over the top, but I absolutely love it when driving at night. And lastly is augmented reality navigation. This is a brilliant system where a camera displays a live feed in the center screen and directions and road information is overlaid over the image. The Premium Plus comes with everything on the Premium, but with these extras. First, we have the digital light. These are the new performance headlights, which are better than ever. Mercedes-Benz have taken these to another level. They're some of the brightest lights on the road and they have an incredibly sophisticated system to prevent you from blinding other drivers. Then we have usual stuff like the panoramic sunroof. And then we've got heads up display. Ah, Mercedes-Benz always make great heads up displays. It's so nice to see this included. Then we have additional climate control. This car comes standard with climate control as you'd expect, but this gives you four zones so even passengers in the back can set their own temperatures. And lastly, we have the Burmeister sound system. If you choose the Premium Plus with all these bundled extras, it's gonna cost you a total of 71,000 pounds. But the only way to see if this car is really worth all that money is to take it for a drive. I owned a C43 with the V6 for over three years. And now I own the CLA45S, which has the exact same engine as the new C43. I even made a video putting the CLA45S right up against the C43. This means I might just be the perfect person to review this car. So I think it's time we took this car on the road so I can give you my thoughts. Right, so here we are in the all new C43. I can tell you immediately, guys, it feels completely different to the previous generation. Just the interior, all these screens, the steering wheel, the engine, it could not be more of a different car. But let's see how it is. So we're currently in comfort mode and we're cruising along. 
I think I've mentioned already, the interior is gorgeous in this car and these seats are so comfortable. It's great on the road, it's cruising along nicely. We've got this crazy modern AMG Super Sport screen which has the gear in the middle, speed at the top and just this huge pulsing rev counter that goes each side. But yeah, handling wise, we do have the rear wheel steering in this car. This is something you could never get on the previous generation and it doesn't feel like a big car so I think the rear wheel steering is helping. It certainly doesn't feel bigger than the previous generation and it feels quite planted on the road. We're in comfort mode remember as well so steering is quite loose and yeah it's absorbing these bumps nicely but we're going to go on the traditional AV Auto route. I've taken the previous generation down this route before myself as well. So we go around this roundabout, we've got a bit of a country road, then we go through a little village, and then we go on a dual carriageway. So we'll really get to see everything this car has to offer on all different types of roads. Sorry, those cyclists threw me off. So let's pop it in Sport Plus now for this bit. <laughs> it's quick. Okay, it's quicker than the previous generation for sure. So remember, this is the same engine in here, the M139 engine that's in my CLA45S. But amazingly, it sounds completely different. If you'd sat me in this car and told me that this had the same engine as my car, I would not believe you. It's got the same sort of usual characteristics, like lots of power at the high revs and loves to rev, but yeah, it sounds completely different. There's a nice little bit of burble in there at the back as well, which again, it sounds different. One thing's for sure though, it definitely sounds very different to the previous generation because we had that V6 engine. So now we've just entered a residential state, so we'll flick it back into comfort mode and see how it handles this speed bump. Yeah, not bad. So I think first impressions comparing this to the CLA45S that has the same engine, this is a much nicer cruiser. This is a more comfortable car for sure. I mean, it's the C-Class, it's a bit higher up in the Mercedes range. I imagine you could have a comfortable long journey in this car. And the steering wheel's a little bit lighter. I'm feeling the thickness of the steering wheel as well. It's a lot different. God, I've got so much to say in such a little amount of time, but honestly guys, I'm so excited to be behind the wheel of the new C43. And I know a lot of you are going to be really interested to hear my thoughts because of course we made so much content with the 2019 C43 and of course we've now got the CLA45S. There's a AMG button here as well down here and if we press this you can go through your drive modes on this touch screen which is really cool. So this is the new MBUX, this is the one that you now get in the facelift CLA45S. Okay so now we're approaching more of a dual carriageway Do you know, when I first accelerated in this car, I wasn't sure about the sound, but now we're a bit more warmed up. It is starting to sound quite nice, actually. Again, completely different to the CLA45S, and of course, so different to the V6, but... There's so much power and so much torque. It's a lot of fun. Brakes are really good as well. I feel like the brakes have improved from the previous generation, they're a little bit softer, but then when you hit that bite, they're really, really effective. If I were to compare this to the CLA45S, I would say the CLA45S is much more aggressive, much more stiffer, much more of a sports car. But if the CLA45S is a, bit, a little bit too much for you and you want something a bit more comfortable, this would be the perfect way to experience the M139 engine. Yeah, I can definitely feel that rear wheel steering right here as we go around this sharp bend. Let's get it on the dual carriageway now. Oh, the brakes are so good. I accidentally choked myself there. We'll just let this car go through. Dare I say it, the brakes are even better than the CLA45S. Oh, the acceleration is just incredible. I think it's that electric gas turbocharger that just gives it a bit more torque at the low end and reduces turbo lag pretty much completely. Yeah, I'm not really feeling much 
much turbo lag. Now, I definitely miss some of the characteristics and features of the old one, but if you bought one of these, you'd still be so lucky and so happy. So, after spending some quality time with the new C43, here's my honest thoughts. This is a very different car to the previous generation. It immediately feels more comfortable and more refined. The huge tech inside the cabin really makes the previous generation feel quite old and dated. The new engine feels quick and the car handles really well through the bends. It really is a pleasure to drive and would make an amazing daily car for both short and long journeys. I think the biggest surprise for me was just how different this car sounds and feels to my CLA45S, which shares the same engine. It's safe to say though that the new C43 is a stronger car than the previous generation. Everything is more refined and the amount of technology and features they've crammed in here is amazing. But I can't help but think something here is missing. The previous generation C43 will always hold a special place in my heart because of the charm and the character of that V6 engine. Now I absolutely love the four cylinder engine in my CLA45S, but it feels so different in the new C43. It still feels lightning quick and is so fun to drive, but I really just can't help but miss that V6 from the previous generation. So should you buy the previous C43 or the new one? Well, if you're looking for a modern, comfortable car with lots of incredible technology and a huge amount of power, you really can't go wrong with the new C43. But if the new screens and technology aren't your thing, the old C43 is still an amazing choice for a daily driver. There's just something about the charm of that V6 engine that's gonna make the previous model a top contender for many years to come.